Okay, so here is my AnyLogic airport queuing system. Um, but basically what we did was we created the same queuing system in C++ and we were asked to put this in any logic. So I did three different things. I did a logic model and then I also did a 2D and a 3D model. And so I'm going to explain these um, and what I did. So I have a check-in, I have a security one, security two, security three, and a departure. I think in the write-up it's called boarding, but I changed mine to departure uh, just to be different, I guess. But um, within each one of the check-ins, I basically changed, I think the capacity was already at 100, but in the delay check-in, I changed this time to be what the mu was set for on the readme file with the directions. And then um, each one of these has the same associated mu. So this is 20, and then this one is 80 per the instructions. And then what I did was once I had this set up, this is the logic model, I started setting up the 2D model. And the 2D model actually is linked to the logic model in a way that allows each one of these to each one of these to pull data from this. So you'll see this highlights when I click on the check-in. And that's because when I set it up, I changed the agent location to allow for this little area to be associated with it. So this is my area. I believe this is my area one, area two, area three, or something like that. So that's set up and ready to go. And it pulls the data from here. And then what I did for this was I added all those areas in, and then I added my 3D models in. I originally had added a 2D model for the airplane. And then when I ran my 3D viewer, it looked like a stacked cardboard version of a, a airplane. So I changed it to a 3D model. And then uh, I added concrete for the ground, a little hanger, which is too small for this plane. Um, and then a little check-in desk, a little, and then each one of these is, stations is is manned by a worker. Um, and then I added a little doohickey here that does um, the 3D window. And then I added a camera that is associated with this. So I, this was automatically on not specified, but now it's on camera so that it automatically jumps to this camera's position. Otherwise you have to adjust it when you get into running the simulation and I'll show you what that's like. Um, I'll play around with the um, positioning within the window once I get there. Basically what this camera does is it, it shows you from this angle if you're standing, like as if you were standing in the airport line for the 3D model. The other cool thing that I did was I watched a video on how to create headers that are they change with your view when you run the model. So right here this little date part if you watch I'm going to make another video and link them both together edit them together but you'll see that this date will change when I run the model. There was this really cool video I saw about how to jump between the, the two really easily but I couldn't get that to work but that's for the future. Then I added some light because the model was a little bit dark and um, this is just sunlight or daylight. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I didn't want it to be straight lamp or anything like that because it seemed like that was not appropriate in this instance. I imagine that this airport is outside for some reason, but I just thought that that was kind of cool. Um, I did put some light over here originally, but when I ran my 3D model, it looked really white over here. The plane was almost washed out a little bit with the hanger behind it, so I took it out but I didn't like how dark it was up here, so I kept the light over here. So that's kind of what I did after I run the model. I'm not going to run it right now, but after I run the model, you'll see what it looks like both with the logic and the 2D and the 3D. All right, so here it shows my actual model, and I've paused it for right now, but I'll keep playing it. This is the actual logic model, and you can see that each one of these is going through, and I can speed it up if I would like to or I can slow it down. Also, what I can do is I can change the view. So this is how you see the 2D and the 3D. So this is my 2D model. You can see the little people coming in. And then I also did a 3D model as well. I talked about the position within the last section that I did. Uh, and you can change the position at any point in here. Um, this is, you just use the mouse click to to go forward and back, you do the scroll 
um, to zoom in all the way. It kind of does the same thing, I guess. Um, and then Alt click to change the position. So as far as changing the position, what I did was I made this all zero, the height of everything at zero so that the floor wasn't halfway through the people like it originally was. And then I also changed the camera angle so that it couldn't go below the floor um, because originally it could go everywhere. So I have my check-in person. They didn't have any cool like check-in desks and they had office workers instead of TSA people and the people that work for the airline. So I just use those generic models. I'm sure there's a way to, to input more models or um, import more models, but I didn't want to focus on that. I wanted to focus on some other stuff for this homework assignment. But you can see I have an x-ray machine, a worker for each one of the stations, and then a metal detector. And then a person to essentially act as the person scanning your tickets before you get on the plane. And then there is the plane and the hangar, which again is too small. But I thought it was pretty cool. I just wanted to show off the cool stuff that I did.